Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits. In today's video, we will learn how to make the zooming guide map in Microsoft PowerPoint using the slide zoom feature so you can transform your next presentation into an engaging and interactive one. A slide zoom can help you make your presentation more dynamic, allowing you to navigate freely between slides in any order you choose without interrupting the flow of your presentation. PowerPoint ideas such as this design can be used for your next presentation or even convert into a visual presentation. We can convert it to a video using the built-in MP4 export or the recording option in Microsoft PowerPoint. But the problem with this is the limited features and capabilities in converting it into a video. That is why I suggest you use screen recording tools such as the Wondershare Demo Creator. With Demo Creator, you have the option to record your voice or include the system audio in your recording. You can also add your face through webcam, adjust the recording area, draw and annotate on the screen while recording with the help of pen and other tools, and then edit the recorded clip in one software. What I really love about this is the rich featured tool as a screen recorder and editing tool in which I think is the best advantage compared to the built-in recording tool in Microsoft PowerPoint. I also love the option wherein you can edit the frame rate of your recording since most of my videos such as this are in 60 frames per second. The frame rate is important for me as it will help me to achieve a smooth slide animation when I start the screen recording. Once you finish your screen recording, you can also edit it afterwards with the editor so you can adjust or customize your video. And there are a lot of features for you to discover in this software. Check the description box for more details. Now moving on to the tutorial proper, as you can see I already have the slides to be used for this tutorial. I have a slides for introduction, goals, topic, examples, summary, and conclusion. I also designed the slide with some clip arts from the internet and apply an old parchment paper for the background. I also use the horizontal banner shape for the title block. And I use the font Road Rage from Google Fonts. One of the main key points of this tutorial is by adding a main slide or should I say a dashboard that contains all of the slides we have here. So we will just add a slide in the beginning of the presentation then change the background same as the other slides. After that, we will just add this curved line shape for the roadmap. This will serve as the guide or roadway for the flow of the presentation. So let's try it once again, this curved shape line, and then let's track or trace our roadmap. And click the escape button from your keyboard to end the line. We will then change the color of the line the thickness, then change the outline to dashes. We can then add a starting point and ending point for the map using this circle shape. So we will just change the color, add inner shadow for effect, and adjust. We we'll just copy it and paste for the end point of the map. We will change the color to something yellow or orange. After that, we will design this slide with some images or clip arts. We will add this beautiful tree. And then let's adjust this map. And add some additional images. Let's say this mountain for design. Then we will add some animals. Let's say camel. So it's really up to you on how will you design this dashboard or your map. And then let's try to add these birds. Now we will add our title for the map. Let's say zooming guide map. And then we will use the font road rage which you can download in Google Fonts for free. And then adjust the size and adjust the text box now we will add a subtext under our main title let's say in microsoft powerpoint so our title will be zooming guide map in microsoft powerpoint then we will adjust the font size and adjust the text box to align with the main title and let's try to add these icons of sun and clouds for additional design. 
Now for the flagpole which will act as the destination mark for each slide, we will use this rounded rectangle shape. So you can adjust this to your preferred size and then we will remove the outline and then change the fill color to white or something gray but let's stick with white and then we will add inner shadow for effect and after that we will adjust the rounded corner and now let's try to add a triangle shape for the cloth of the flag so we will adjust the size and then rotate change the color to something let's say green and now we will group this flagpole into one but let us first adjust the pole and now we will group them So there you go so this will be our second destination or for the slide 2 and we will just copy these flagpoles and paste according to our number of slides so we have here six slides after the slide one so we will have six destination mark so four flags and the starting point and the end point so, and then we will add a label for each destination let's start with the introduction and then we will change the shape fill to something cream or whatever color you like and then add shadow and then we will place it here for the intro and we will just copy this and paste for the next destination or for the second slide which will be our slide for goals so we will just rename this and then for the next for the topic slides and then next for the example slides for the summary slides and lastly for the conclusion slide and now you can see here our guide map with the label for each slides so it's really up to you on how will you design your guide map you can always be creative and think outside the box and now for the main event or for the slide zoom under the insert tab zoom and then click this slide zoom so what we have here is the slide one for our main slide for our guide map and followed by the slide two for our introduction part so we will click this and then we will adjust this slide so this is the slide 2 itself we can adjust and place it in this intro part or inside the shape and once we click that it will go directly to slide 2 via slide zoom and once we click this back option it will return to the guide map we want this guide map to be clean so we will click that slide under zoom tab we will click the change image option with this we can replace the slide with an image icon or whatever you like so we will use an icon that will represent that second slide so we will use this compass icon and we will just place it here at our first destination within that red circle and then we will just remove the outline and then adjust so once we click this icon it will slide zoom to the slide 2 so let's try so once we click this icon it will slide zoom through slide 2 or our introduction slide and once we click this back option it will go back directly to the guide map slide or in the first slide and for the next destination for the goals same process we will click the slide zoom and we will choose the slide 3 as it is our slide for the goals and then we will change the image we will replace it with an icon that will best represent the slide number three or for our slide for the goals we will then adjust and place it inside the flag and then we will just remove the outline 
and as you can see here there is a number three meaning this icon will slide zoom in slide number three or for the goal slide and now let's see once we click this goals it will slide zoom in slide three and then we will click this back option or the back in your keyboard then it will go back in the guide map or slide one and now moving on to our next destination for the topic destination same process under insert tab we will just add the slide zoom or the slide and then we will select the slide 4 since the slide 4 is the slide for the topic and we will replace it with an icon let's say this light bulb and then adjust place it in the flag we will then remove the outline now let's see it once again once we click this it will go directly to the topic title through slide zoom so that's how slide zoom really works then we will just repeat the process until we reach the end point of the guide map or the last slide And finally, we just finish all of the slides for this zooming guide map presentation, and here is the final result. This slide zoom feature for me is very nice, and it can really help us to transform our boring presentations into an interactive and creative one. So that's it for today's video. If you have questions or suggestions for my next video, don't hesitate to share it in the comment box. Again, this is Gemo Edits, and thank you for watching.